Hey guys, it's John from ARTV. It's time for a review of the new record from the duo that's been making waves across America after signing to Epitaph Records. They've been blowing up online with their covers and just their acoustic renditions of things, their unique style that a lot, not a lot of people are even trying these days. They're called This Wild Life and the album is called Clouded. I've heard people talking about them for a little while now and it got recommended to me to check out their record and I decided to go ahead and do that. And my first impressions after hearing the track Concrete, I was actually pretty impressed. It opened up the record very strongly. I really liked the lyrical message on that one and while throughout I won't say that their lyrics are the most inventive or creative things in the world, they do have a certain flow about them that just works with their sound. The acoustic feel and vibe that they bring is very unique these days. You don't see a whole lot of bands just straight up being acoustic and also at the same time gaining success. They have almost 100,000 fans on Facebook, just about two guys playing the guitar, one guy sings. Kevin is the lead singer of this band, Anthony's the guitarist, they both actually play guitar, and what comes out is just some really chill tunes. I won't say that it's something for everyone or something that I'm necessarily head over heels for, but it's something that sounds very, very pleasant. I think it's very breezy music that can kind of be taken down in one car ride or uh, just something to play while you're in the background while you're hanging out and chilling with your friends. Some of the tracks are a little bit more down tempo, a little bit more emotional. Take the tracks like Looking Back and Don't Say, for example. Um, it's not the fact that they necessarily depress me, it's the fact that they just have that melancholy tempo and feel to them. It's very it's very a Copeland style, uh, and also a day to remember, I feel like, in their acoustic work at least. Those are the two that it reminds me of the most. Copeland, uh, actually one of the band members is producing for them, so that's probably why we're getting that feel. I saw one site actually saying that they were paying homage to the emo pioneers, which are Copeland. And I think the Copeland, while their sound has evolved very far over the years, I think that this is kind of where they started. And I'm really interested to see where this wildlife ends up in the future. Now, some of my favorite songs on this record are the ones that have a little bit more of a positive and upbeat feel to them. Concrete, like I already mentioned. I think Over It is a very catchy and fun tune. It's not necessarily the most fun subject to talk about, but I think that they handled the track in a very positive way and kind of an almost sarcastic outlook on things. The track that I like the most on this LP, though, is The Closer, and it's called 40. Five. That one has some additional guitars in it. It just gets a lot more loud and in your face, kind of furious with the way the guitars are playing on that track. It sounds incredible. I would like to hear more of the duo's songs go in that direction. There is drumming on some of these tracks. Take Roots and Branches, for example. That's one where you can actually hear it. Some of the tracks are just straight acoustic, though, with not really much backing instrumentation at all. There are string sections on a lot of these tracks, and that does add some atmosphere to them. And as a whole, I won't say that the replay factor is incredibly high, but I think it is something that I'll be revisiting on maybe some rainy days or something like that. Check the description if you want to see my favorite and least favorite tracks. Make sure you hit the like button on this review, show your support. Check me out on Facebook and Twitter. For me, overall, this record is a 3.5 out of 5. Have you heard the new record from This Wild Life? Let me know what you think of it in the comment section down below. If you have not heard it yet, there's a link down there as well to stream it. So why not? It's free. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more reviews, everyone. And thank you so much for watching ARTV Beyond the Reviews.